cult with the quickness. They've been around for a lot of years. Here we get to talk to HR of Bad Brains, who's back. This record is available on Caroline Virgin Records here in Canada. We've got 10 copies of With the Quickness to give away. All you have to do is tell us all you know about Bad Brains in one paragraph or less and mail it to the address that appears through the magic of television at the end of the show. You take real good care of yourself. This has been Black Rock on Soul in the City, and we're ending it with Eye Against Eye and molten concert footage, I understand, courtesy of one of our quickest and sharpest cameramen, Basil Young, Bad Brains on Soul in the City. <laughs> families together uh, and get established with our home life and be with our loved ones, uh, our sons and daughters, and uh, wanted to take time out to also give each other room to explore new music. The bad brains function off vibes, so when the vibes are right, then we come together, and when they're not right, then we decide to wait until they are. See the music today as it's evolved from its original form back in the 70s? I see it um, a little uh, less uh, aggressive, a little more focused on um, precision. Back in the late 70s, we were uh, just interested in going fast, you know, that was it, just <laughs> who could go the fastest? The winner, yay! Uh, one song in 15 seconds, you know. <laughs> As we matured, the music matured, and um, it became uh, uh, important for us to not only go fast, but be skillful. Always be creative. This is the whole thing with Rasta in our life. Uh, uh, without God, we we feel we would not be able to be able to give the people the music that we have. Our spirit would would be boring, dull, and it would reflect in the music. But Jai is always uh, filling the cup, and the cup is running over. And so that's that's the music, you know. I wanted the album to be called Voyage to Infinity, but you don't always get what you want, so that's life, you know. <laughs> I can accept the reality of with the quickness still because uh, to me what that means is to be steadfast in the praise with God, with the quickness, or to be steadfast. And that's what it means. And why I, I thought of that name was because of the feeling I got from the music at the time. Um, I had just came from Europe on tour with the Human Rights. This was in 89 of January, February, March. Um, and uh, Anthony had called me on the phone and said, uh, we're ready, are you ready? And I said, okay, I'm ready. So it was like two days later, there you were, there I was in Woodstock listening to the music and uh, it was just a flow, you know, just steadfast with the quickness. I'd like to get involved with any uh, over uh, 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 pop 
popularized organizations. Um, I support Vernon Reed. I support all rock coalitions, uh, whether they're black, red, yellow, green, uh, purple. I don't think that uh, the Black Rock Coalition is a racist organization, nor do I feel that it's fair for people to, um, to uh, judge them uh, and, and persecute them just because their name is Black Rock. I mean, there are uh, a lot of coalitions in these times, and, uh, and if their name is Black Rock, then so be it. You know, Black Rock, that's uh, no different than, you know, any other rock. Uh, yeah, it's the last city I live. You, you, I read that you once said that there, you have many, there are lessons to be learned in reference to your helping out other young bands get into the business. Is it exciting for you to see bands like Living Color and 24-7 Spies getting the kind of recognition they're getting? Oh, most definitely. I feel very positive to see anybody, whether it's, uh, uh, the brothers in, in the spies, or the brothers in the color, or the brothers in the seconds, seven seconds, or um, uh, COC, or uh, Henry Rollins, or anybody that is um, affiliated with the, the Universal Church of Music then yes, I'm glad to see them grow. I encourage them to continue to grow in music. I think, just like what Bob shows us, music is gonna teach the people a lesson. Um, there are a lot of people out here who fight against music, and, and it's a losing battle, because music will live on forever and ever and ever, long after Babylon is destroyed. You know, these songs and these lyrics and uh, these melodies they may take other forms and other shapes, but they'll never die. Mm -mm. That's why, you, you know, we see the, seven, uh, the 80s now, and it's so similar to the 60s. And if you talk to certain grandmothers and grandfathers, they'll tell you that that's so similar to the 20s and the 30s and the 40s. And it's just the spirit, you know, changing from one form into another form. But, uh, Music is transcendental, it's, it's has to, it has to live on, it has to be free, music has to find a release. And, uh, whew, you know, if we could just, not if, but um, when the day comes uh, when we really uh, see the, it can acknowledge each one's, the beauty of, of one's own uh, blessing or gift, what they have to offer, whether it is rock or reggae or jazz or country music or western, uh, then that's going to be the, uh, to me, I feel that's going to be the, the beginning of uh, the actual uh, unification of all nations under one. Uh, it, and it can be done through the music. That's, it's been proven before with uh, the, some of the um, Human Rights Now Amnesty Tour and uh, USA and Africa tour, and you know, these are, although they are being put on by men and people, ultimately God ordained it to be, and it, and it worked, and it is an example of the strength of music. to take the, uh, the group Bad Brains to Africa. If there's anything else I would love to do, that would be it right there, to uh, do some gigs in uh, Kenya and in Ethiopia and uh, Nigeria. I, I'm surprised we haven't been approached yet. I think it's, uh, it's well needed, you know? Um, so 
you can't rush the Father in Mount Zion. When God sees things fit, then he, uh, he sets it up and it, and it flows. So uh, whenever Rastafari is ready for us to uh, go on that mission, we'll be ready. Must a rich man, why keep on holding up money? Why, why must this poor man, why are living <laughs> Thank you. 